Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Keisha, in case you're new here, and I blog every day at kjaggers.com. That link is below. I am back with my Sunday weekly food shopping haul, plus two other hauls, so fancy that. We got an organizational haul and a dollar store haul coming up. So I didn't need a ton. Um, I needed some stuff just to get us through. I just went shopping. I know a haul was the last video on this channel, which was just a few days ago because we had to get stuff to get us through till Sunday. So we are here. It is Sunday, and I needed to get stuff to get us through next week. So before I start going into everything, I'm going to share with you a few of the meals that we plan on having. I actually have my planner here. And you can see that we're going to have eggs and clouds, crock pot, ham, and potatoes, grilled pineapple pork chops with a potato and vegetable, meatball sliders, that's supposed to say with fries, chicken noodle casserole and bread, Philly steak and cheese, and I'm also going to be making a magic cake. I left Saturday open. We eat out sometimes, and I'm Betty, and we will eat out one night in the week. Now, this is kind of the order I hope to cook you know, the meals in, but it doesn't necessarily um, stay that way. Things change. So let's go on and get into the meals. So um, as I said, I'm doing like a crock pot and potato dinner. And I got um, this Kentucky Legend ham. It wasn't that much. It was about $10. And since I'm going to be making this um, in the crock pot, and it's kind of like, I think I've posted it, it's the ham and cheese casserole, or ham, cheese, and potato, or, I'm sorry, the ham or gratin potato casserole, um, but it's with, you know, fresher ingredients. I'm going to slice the potatoes myself. I'm making all that in the crock pot with um, the ham. Now, one night, we're going to grill out pork chops, and we're going to have um, pineapple, um, grilled pineapple pork chops so simple and such a delicious recipe that i thought i would share it with you guys i'm also going to be sharing this one with the ham and um our gratin potatoes in the crock pot another night we're going to be doing those little meatball sliders and i think one pound of beef should be enough i got two just in case and i like and i usually don't buy my meat at walmart but I went ahead and got these. These were just one pound packages, which I'm kind of happy they had because two pounds this way was cheaper than two pounds, you know, in one package. I don't understand that. But I got two of those. I also got some bacon for um, either maybe a BLT for lunch or to go with the eggs in a cloud dinner. Um, I can't remember exactly what I needed um, the ch this cheese for. I can never pronounce it right, so I'm not even going to try. Um, this was a little bit more pricey. It was about, about $10, but I love good cheese, and I needed that for a recipe. Um, I also, oh, and we're having Philly steak and cheese, like I said one night, so I got... Um, a package of provolone cheese for that night and then I wanted to make sure I had enough because I like to add some to my meatball sliders. That's also a recipe I plan on sharing with you guys because I start the meatballs um, in the crock pot. I mean it's complete. I mean you could use frozen meatballs. No sense in doing that. I just make the meatballs myself and cook them in the crock pot um, and they are divine. I love meatball subs. Um, for the hoagie roll, or for the um, Philly steak and cheese, I got the soft white hoagie rolls, which my family loves. Um, for the meatball sliders, I got another package of the King's Hawaiian sweet bread. I love this stuff. And then, just because I was hungry and these looked good, I thought I could warm these three cheese breadsticks up and dip them in like ranch. I just thought that might be yummy, so I got it. Now. I have um, a couple um, crock pot meals coming up because I don't want to turn my oven on on hot days. So the summer, I know everybody thinks of crock pot in the winter with the hearty meals, but summer is such a great time to break out your crock pot so you don't heat up your house. So for the recipes, I needed some cream of celery, cream of onion, some condensed cheddar cheese, some cream, another cream of celery, 
and a cream of chicken. Um, I got a thing of butter, which I always need. I got some sour cream, and this is just the Kraft Simply. I don't think I've tried that yet. For that pineapple, um, the grilled pork chops pineapple recipe, or the pineapple grilled pork chops. My, I'm just tongue twisted today. Um, I got some dough pineapple slices. The Concord grape jelly is for my meatballs, as is the Heinz chili sauce. It's one of my grandma's recipes, but it's like all over Pinterest, and um, I originally learned to make it for my grandma Mary. I got some Vlasic red bell peppers. I'm not sure what I needed these for. I don't remember. Philly steak and cheese and meatballs. There we go. Um, I was thirsty at the store, and I thought I would drink this on the way home, but I haven't even opened it. So, this is the Milo's Famous Sweet Tea. I don't know if I've ever had this, so we'll see. Um, Drink-wise, I got Jackson and Dr. Pepper. I got a board of milk because Walmart didn't have any organic milk in gallon size, and my son drinks a lot of milk. I got a large tea for Scott and I and some Cokes for Scott and I. I also got another package of my Javalvia traditional roast coffee. I almost tried something new this time, but every time I do that coffee-wise, I'm usually disappointed. And then I also needed some garlic powder, so I picked up another one. I like these big bottles because I don't have to get them, you know, very often. I also got some peas and carrots um, for the chicken noodle casserole, which I love. I got Scott two of the Klondike um, packages, little bars. This one's the Heath, and then there's the mint chocolate chip. He loves those. Um, I got the boys some donut sticks. I just know they like them. And then I got these frosted flakes. Now this bag, which isn't much, it's 11 ounces, was a dollar. And I think that is such a great price for cereal. Now in my family, you know, some cereal gets ate up rather fast, and some not. And Frosted Flakes is one of those um, cereals that mainly it's just me enjoying, so that should last for a while. Jackson loves Chex Mix and asked me to get him a bag, so I did. I also got a box of um, the Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. I'm, I like this one. I like it better than the shells, but I'm trying to make my own macaroni and cheese more times than not. But for a busy weeknight, I don't see a problem. I got some more strawberries, and I'm going to have a great tip up on this channel about berries very, very soon. Stay tuned for that. Sorry, that was my husband calling, who's also out shopping right now. So, as I said, I got this bakery peach pie. Now, you know, I know these aren't really good for you, and I can definitely make a peach pie better than probably this one. But... I love peach pie, and I passed it and um, thought it would be a wonderful treat this week. I'm also baking a cake sometime this week or next week, but we'll definitely eat this up before I even think about baking a cake. So that is the items I got food-wise, and I'll show you real quick the items I got from this grocery store or from Walmart um, that are household-wise. So we always have to buy cat litter in our house. There's cats everywhere. And I just picked up one, and um, this is the Tidy Cats. This is for our upstairs bathroom because I just switched out the litter in on the first floor. So this one's just for the second floor. And then I saw these. These are catnip bubbles. Um, <laughs> I can't wait to try these with the cat. You'll have to check out my vlog channel. Um, to see how they react to those. I like Veet, um, hair remover for under my arms, um, sometimes my top lip. I just like it, so I went ahead and got another one. This is the Fast Acting Gel Cream, and you leave it on 10 minutes max, and it just, like, burns your hair off, and it doesn't burn your face. It's worked for me for a very long time. And my sister was recently here, but she left her razor which got thrown away, so I picked her up a new one. This is just the Venus Embrace that will actually be off in the mail tomorrow. I did forget a bag of dry cat food, but Scott's going to pick that up for me tonight. So now you have seen the dinners we're going to eat, 
the snacks we're going to have this week, and also the, some of the stuff that I picked up while I did my grocery shopping. But that's not it. There are two more hauls left on this video. We're going to roll right into an organizational haul that I'm going to share with you guys. And then from there, it's going to roll right on into a dollar store haul. So if you want to see those, just keep watching and you'll be able to see the other stuff we got. So as I explained already, this is a three-part haul. And... Um, I'm going to be showing you this organizational stuff, and as soon as I'm done talking about that, I'll show you the dollar store haul. Just keep watching. It's all on this video. So, as I said, I am getting busy to redo my closet. It's not working for me. I'm basically doing a big closet clean out and organizational um, type project on that room, and I have a medium-sized walk-in closet which you know can get pretty messy if I don't take care of it so I got these at Walmart these are just the little bins you can see what they look like and um, they're gonna go in my closet probably at the top and I got six now I went with a black and white design just because um, I'm buying some new bedding in black and white, but it really doesn't matter. Nobody's really going to see this very much. But I got the black and white with the black interior, and I'm going to use this um, kind of in the top of my closet. And then I, I have this big spot where I guess shirts are supposed to hang in my closet, but I don't hang things there because I can seldom reach it. So I wanted to use that area, and I saw these. This is the Smart Carousel Organizer, and it spins. See that? And it's got tons of storage. It's, um, you know, an as-seen-on-TV product. And it says it holds 16 pairs of shoes, 2 pairs of boots, 8 elastic purse holders, and 4 back pockets. So there's the back pockets right there. And this is, like, in a brown tone, so maybe I should have gotten brown little storage things but too bad so this is the carousel organizer and um, this is that shape and then I got another one and this one um, is again the smart carousel organizer you can see that this one has three shelves 24 pockets um, and it says you can buy two and connect I wanted to make sure um, I had the room, you know, lengthwise to do that. So before I go buy another one, which I very well might, um, I wanted to make sure that it would fit. And then I went ahead and got this too. This is the Mainstays um, Closet Organizer. And you can see where you can hang clothes. I'm sure all of you guys have seen these before. And um, we'll see how that works. Anything that doesn't work real well, I'm going to take back and you know just make sure I have stuff that's really convenient and works really nice so I'll let you guys know how these work I'm actually going to be making a video soon um, about my closet and then I got another trash bag can this one was at Walmart and it was like a dollar so I went ahead and got it because I always um, like this kind of storage for certain things in my closet so I got pink it's girly I guess I got tons of different colors but this is also to go in my closet so that is the simple you know um, organizational things I got this week I'm sure I'll be getting more to finish that closet up but let's go ahead and move right on into the dollar store haul which I think has a few organized organizing things in that too so have a look Okay, so here is my quick household haul. I'm actually recording this on Saturday with the intentions of just putting it in with my food haul. So if you're still watching, thank you. Um, here is what I got. So I went in basically for uh, two things, and this is what I came out with. So the first thing I really needed was sugar. Now, um, I barely had any this morning, and I've been using like the... Um, sugar and stevia blend which I'm not too fond of so even though I'm going grocery shopping tomorrow which you've already seen I don't need sugar because I bought it today and um which is Saturday for Sunday morning because we need sugar for the morning and 
I'm going to be making a fruit salad, and I wanted a couple larger Tupperware bowls. So at my um, Dollar General, I believe, um, there was a large, like, square container, and it was like $8. There's two bowls here, and they were only $4.50, which I totally love. So I got two bowls. I also saw these, and I just thought they looked really interesting. So these are paper baking cups, so you can make little mini pies. You just pour it, bake it in the oven, and I got one in blue and one in pink. I just wanted to give these a try, and there was only two. I thought if I like them, I am going to be disappointed because, you know, I won't be able to find them again, so I just got one of each. I just thought they were really cute, and... Um, I'm going to give them a shot. Maybe I'll review those if you guys are interested in those. My son is hooked on Chex Mix ever since our trip up north. Saturday, I went ahead and got him a bag. And if he knew it was down here, he wouldn't even let me record this video. He would just take the Chex Mix. So, I lost our dryer balls when we moved into this house. I, don't ask me where they went. And I'm pretty good at packing, but I went ahead and got two new ones. I've been trying to remember to get these forever, um, but I just kept forgetting. And um, I walked right past them, and I found them. So what they do, they soften your fabric naturally, and it does help separate your clothes. It reduces the static clean and lint, um, and... I really like them. I haven't used them in a long, long time, but I got them. And then, I know that I didn't need it, but I went ahead and got the bounce bar. Now, it says it lasts two months. Not in my house. We use the dryer way too much for this to last two months. But it does last uh, close to one month. So, I got one of those. I like them. I've used them quite a bit. And those two kind of go together. Now... I saw this and I thought that it, you know, this is a wire culture holder, so silverware and napkins, but I didn't get it for that. I got it for Scott's bathroom. Um, he has a basket in there, but it tends to get really messy really fast, so I thought this might just work perfect, and he could even hang some stuff off the little wires that are supposed to be handles. They can just stay like this and he can still hang like um, his watch or whatever. So that's for um, the boys' bathroom. Also, I got some for Breeze. This one is just the extra strength and it's the original scent with cats and dogs and sweaty kids and, and smells. I always love for Breeze. Now I make my own homemade um, air freshener quite a bit. But this was on sale, and I had a coupon, so I, I intentionally went for that. <clears throat> now, I saw these, and they are the Faberware Cleaning Cuff Gloves and Cuff Duster. Is that what it's called? Um, Chanel Dusting Mitt. So, this is the first time I saw these in my Dollar General store, and I just thought they were really cute. I do not own a duster like this. It fits like a glove, but I thought it really might work well. And I need more kitchen gloves all the time, and I just thought these were super cute, and they kind of match the kitchen. So that um, is for the kitchen. And then the last few things I got are some more push pins. I know this is awful, you guys, but I hang up stuff on the walls with these, and I love them. And I got some more of the tape trends. Now, I use a lot of this in my planner, um, and I just got some more. I have pretty much bought them out on these little tapes. I have so many. I love them. I use them up really fast, too. So that is my haul from um, the Dollar General. Um, you know, I know that I could be... I would go to Target if it was close, but going to Target or Bed Bath & Beyond or wherever to get some of this stuff. But most of the people that follow me and know me and um, pretty much had the same life in me want to find bargains. I don't necessarily have to go shopping at a particular store. I'm just about saving money and still enjoying, you know, certain stuff. And um, 
the Dollar General works for me quite a bit. It's the closest store to my home. So I like, um, you know, going there at times. So thank you for watching both of these hauls. I hope you've enjoyed them. And I hope maybe you got some menu ideas. I do have a what I've been eating going up on my vlogging channel, um, which will be up in a day or two. So be sure to check that out if you're interested in more menu ideas. And I will see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.